All right, welcome to Crusader Kings 3. This is my second attempt on recording this because the game continues to crash when I use my shortcuts to start OBS. Um, so you see this man here and it says continue despite me never having actually started the game so far. So we're going to press on new game and we're going to click on this and we're going to click on this fairly inconspicuous button down there which is going to allow us to select anyone instead of just the predefined rulers that the game suggests we should start playing as. Um, so I haven't really looked into Crusader Kings 3 much. Um, I have instead not done that. <laughs> so what I want is game rules and I definitely want to play on Iron Man and we leave everything else on default for now. And I click a lot of random and we land it down here uh, on, on this little, I'm not sure if it's a county or a duchy. I think it's a county. Uh, so we would be playing as Jamanatigi Kaji of Sanda and we have a few um, skills already which by the way are different from when I selected him earlier. Earlier he, ha he had Gregarious, he doesn't have that anymore but he was Craven before as well so that's interesting so there seems to be some sort of randomization going on um, regardless. So I figure everyone else is going to play here and there and maybe even over there. So uh, we are not going to do that. We are going to start in Africa because look at that. Africa before was maybe this and it was five pieces or something. This is this is a whole world now. So I'm really curious. I think this is bigger than Umayyad than Spain. So I'm really curious to see how this works out. And um, look at all this. I will be gushing over a lot of things because again, I haven't really looked into this game much beside the first two death diaries. <clears throat> All I know is what I know from Crusader Kings 2 and we will see how well this applies here. So without further ado, let us embark together on our first... Um, well, I, I'm loath to call it Monarch's Journey. Um, on our Crusader journey, on our journey as a Crusader King, we are probably not a Crusader King. Okay, so we are going to learn everything together. This is the Royal Edition, so I might have a few more things um, cosmetically than other people, but gameplay-wise it shouldn't be very different. Now the first thing that immediately jumps out to me is that this is on this side. Can I move this over? <laughs> is there um, such an option to maybe... Can I have this... I don't know, can I put this over on the other side? Ugh. I don't see an option on the... Okay, this is going to be a bit of a issue. <laughs> One of the four issues that we have. All right, let's try and get an idea of what's going on. So this is our county. And true in Crusader Kings fashion, everything has a tooltip. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, that is good. So um, to figure out what you belong to, de jour, so you can see which titles you might want to work towards, uh, now you can hover over these and it, it highlights these for you. So we are part of the Empire of Guinea, part of the Kingdom of Guinea, and part of the Duchy of Sapi. But as far as I can tell... Um, only the Duchy of Sapi exists. Inside my realm? Okay, right. So, um, this whole duchy... Is the game running? Oh, why did I just get this message there? So, inside this duchy... This is a very interesting overview. So, inside this duchy... There are three realms. The one of Jaman, uh, Jamanitigi Sako, <clears throat> who likes us not very much. And Jamana of Nalu. Damanatigi Fabula of Nalu, and ours. So he controls two counties, we control one county. That's a very interesting view. There are no Clemons, this is where we would do it. De jure, duchies, no, 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 okay. Right, so what do we have here? Tombo, the tribe of Tombo. Tribal hold. Uh, we don't have money to upgrade it, but we, we, oh, we need both. Interesting, we need both. We what are we even? <laughs> Let's check ourselves out. What are we? We are unreformed Monday. 
And if we click on this, we get all the information. First, we can see we are Ziguish, Ziguism, and Unreformed Monday faith. So all these with this face here, these are holy sites, but all these are Monday religions, I would assume. But these are our people. So Sigwik, Sigwich. And we have these tenants. Wow, doctrines, faith must take stands. The tenants represent, okay. Adaptive county conversion conversion rate plus 30%. Infidel vassals are less likely to join independence and populist faction. Opinion of different liege faith. Okay, interesting. Ancestor worship. Prestige from level of splendor of newborns. I don't know what a level of splendor is, but I'm sure we're going to find it out. Choose a close family option. Opinion plus five. That's interesting. So, ooh. Each... Religion has their own sets of sins and virtues. Oh, I like that. That's fantastic. So wrathful, arrogant, and vengeful are sins in this religion. And calm, humble, and twin are virtues. So try to become a twin sometime in your lifetime. <laughs> so we are theocratic. Uh, okay. Um, we are pluralists. Okay, that means certain things. County conversion speed, counties less likely to join faction, okay. Male dominated, male only, male preference succ succession. Claims of women can only be pressed against other women, children, or incapable rulers. Okay, that's pretty much what we used to on CK2. Uh, before you get full status of women. Women do not get implicit claims on their parents. I don't know what an implicit claim is. It sounds like a claim that they get just by virtue of being a daughter to them. Um, women cannot be granted titles, only man can be okay. Ah, this sounds pretty much like we know. Uh, opinion on female rule. Yeah, this is, this is not new. This is what we used to. Very good. Oh, marriage type. Polygamous. Rulers, if allowed by gender law, can have up to four spouses. Cool. Uh, divorces are allowed by spending piety or good. Bastards can be legitimized. That's also great. Uh, marriage between cousins is allowed. And... Sexual relations between cousins will not give the incest secret. Cool. <laughs> That's great. Um, shunned. Men with a sodomite trait will shunned. Okay. Deviancy. Characters with a deviant trait are criminals. Male adultery, fornicator are criminals. So no seduction for us. Female adulterer. I don't know what exactly it means if you... Oh, wow. There's a whole lot more. Dirty doctrines. Wow. Okay. That's a whole lot. So far, there isn't really all that much important stuff going on here. You can jump to these and they get... Oh, look, they give something now. Plus one diplomacy. Is this for everyone? Yeah, all, all Sigwists. Get this. If, if these holy sites are controlled by our faith. So it does make sense to actually try and get these under control. Hello, hello. That is... A very attractive faith has not played much of a role um, so this is really really interesting but I got completely off track because I was I wanted to look at different things but now we know that we are this and we are um, the male culture let's click on that Wow look at all of that my goodness look at all of it it's amazing I mocked all these 9 out of 10 10 out of 10 um, ratings they already got for just having released but here we are i am praising it i hope by the way the background uh sound is is loud enough i fiddled with it but i can only check after this so maybe on this episode uh, the background voice um, the music and and everything like that is going to be a little bit quiet i'll fix it for the next one so okay culture innovations of our culture oh okay so this is mm, i see i see hello hello okay so this is basically our technology tree now and it seems like these are culture based now so upland skirmishing can recruit guinean uplanders as men at arms cool and this goes through these ages very interesting, very interesting. 
So we don't have much in terms of military, but we have a whole lot of civic. Interesting. Crop rotation. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. West African canoes. Unlocks ability to raid overseas if you can already raid. Unlocks ability to jail in sail in major rivers. Which we will unlock in 514 years. No problem, no trouble. So that's our culture then. Um, I do not know if we are allowed to raid though. Wait, do I select what we what we do? Or is it... Okay, we have a fascination. Each culture is always fascinated by a specific innovation. Um, depending on the learning of the current culture head. Culture head can change the culture... Uh, okay, so there's a culture head somewhere. Which is this man. He doesn't like us very much. And he gets to choose in which direction this culture develops. Interesting. Right. Okay. So our daughter and heir will give us a negative opinion modifier because they don't like women. But uh, the difficulty modifier of not having an heir is kind of, you know, moot now that we do have an heir, heir already. Let's see what happens here. House Bulum and the dynasty of Bulum. And our level of splendor is obscure, so no one knows us. We have two living members, which isn't true. We have more. Let's unpause real quick and see if this updates. Nope. <laughs> um, we are the dynasty head. Um, we are insignificant. Children are born with 200 prestige. Marrying into this dynasty gives 100 prestige. Plus 15 long reign opinion maximum. Open legacies. We have not unlocked legacies yet. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, there's so much to dive into here. This is this is fantastic. Okay. Good. So what are we? We are a thrifty clerk, which is lovely. I can't click on that. <gasps> they failed. Um, we are patient, which is lovely. We are compassionate. Dread decay plus 100%. Okay. Minus two intrigue. So these are not as prominently displayed as I would like, but uh, we'll be fine. So we are craven, of course. No military genius here. Can I disallow myself from leading armies in this screen somewhere? I do not see the option. This is our spouse. This is our heir. Okay, let's uh, check out what can we do with our heir. Can I give her like a direction? He's a bold grasper. Ooh. Okay, so this determines what she's going to be. And she's bossy. At zero years old, our daughter is already bossy, which might develop into something. Doesn't say. Okay, so right-click gives us arrange a marriage, find a spouse, which is this betrothal? I'm not sure. We can open a barber shop. We can put a pin in her. And there she appears. Ah, that, I don't like that. We'll have to check that out later. How do I get this away again? Well, we'll figure it out. Um, educate child. This is what we want. So we want to have um, us use a hook. A hook is a general term for a relationship between characters where one can get the other to do their will. There are two types of weak hooks and strong hooks, which are acquired in different ways. Okay. All right, so let's send our proposal here. And she is now a ward. Oh, I don't I don't like this design too much. But I'm sure we'll get used to it. Uh, that's that's usually how these things work. We are county rank realm, which is all we are. We have 357 troops as far as I can tell. Uh, supply limit of 3,100, terrain of hills, a development of one, not sure what that means. Okay, let's find ourselves some secondary spouses, shall we? So I would like to <laughs> clear character. That's that's a nice. Uh, let's go by age. Low. She's well. She's a bit. She's a bit of a sinner. She's a bit of a sinner in our eyes. Let's see if you can't find. No, nope, also double sinner. 
Vengeful. Do we have someone who's not a sinner, maybe? Gregarious, patient, chaste. She's lovely. All right. She will accept. Uh, let's find a marriage close by too. Can I do that? Can I just right click you and say arrange marriage and select myself here? I'm the spouse is me. And I would like, hmm. how do I see if it gives me me i want to i want to marry me off yes um these are all mine why can i not uh do this now i am i don't want to marry someone off i want to f ah, find a spouse okay okay right but i can't mm -hmm. No, that can't be it. Come on, let's let's figure this thing out. We would like... You mean one more? Oh, no. Arrange marriage. So me... Me is the spouse? No, I don't... I'm not allowed to do that. Hmm. How do I form alliances this way, then? Where's my daughter? All right. Where does it say if we get a non-aggression pact or something? The... Mm. Not going to accept the matrilineal one, understandably. Does that mean we, we get that, or is it just an information on a potential alliance out of this? What war options do we have? Let's check this out first. Oh. Okay. Invade kingdom. Conquer County. We gain the contested title. It costs us 50 piety. I am not happy with that. Why can't I just declare war? Right. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Um, so what can we do here? Construct a new building. We probably don't have any money or not enough to do anything. Markets, palisades. Palisades sound like new levies. That sounds good. Okay, let's check out all these options up here. What does it say? Okay, so encyclopedia, 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 nah, whatever. Okay, lifestyle, lifestyle choices, and we'll, we'll start with that. We are already good at diplomacy stewardship. So we are already having a stewardship uh, education. So if we select this, oh my goodness. Wealth focus, domain focus, duty focus. Why do we already have something here? Um, income plus 10%, agent acceptance. Yeah, I think we're going to go for the wealth focus and select that. And no stewardship perk unlock available. But we already have these here because our stewardship level is what it is, I suppose. Because of our stewardship education, we gain 20% more experience in this lifestyle. So we could change, use anything, but apparently we get experience now. And we could reset the perks, I assume.
All right, interesting stuff. We'll have to look into that later. So what do you want? Fabricate a claim on Somalia. So Solimana. Um, I'm so sorry. Okay, so how do I do that? Um, whew. Whew. That's a bit too much. I just want to claim on this here. Okay, so these smaller units here, these are the baronies. And this bigger here is the is the county and since this is all one thing owned by this one guy i have to kind of go through this how do how do we fabricate a claim sending you to court chaplain or realm priest okay but <laughs> um where is my council uh, there is my ca oh no oh god no there's so much stuff on the screen all the time my goodness so uh let's go rather here shouldn't we i don't feel like this is too big for us we need one ally somewhere here so we'll have to see hmm so she is set to assist our ruler or we can tell her to manage our domain what does assist ruler do oh the, okay this boosts one specific one this boosts several ones that's not bad uh, but we're going to go with manage domain with her all right so um Fabricate a claim on county. Our realm priest endorses us. And we have good religious relations. Assume, or it's a perk that he gives us. Oh no, that's his, ah, that's his task. That's his, th this is what he does right now. We can tell him to go and fabricate us a claim. Um, let's say on this here. Now we have this fabricated claim. Oh, there's a progress bar now. Mm, fancy that. This, by the way, is going to be an hour. So if you think we're going to really do a lot of stuff, which is really going to be cool, you are mistaken. <laughs> uh, let's see. What can we do here? So you are foreign affairs. Prestige. Oh, a truce? Oh, okay. Oh, what possible side effects? Enemy claim, shorten enemy truce, neighbor opinion loss. Lowered vassal opinion. Okay, that's interesting. Integrate title, not sure. So he just does this. What do you do, my dear Stuart? You collect taxes right now, which is good. Plus 5%. There are no possible side effects, thanks to his amazing skill. 19. No, that's his opinion of us. His skill is this, 8. It's poor. Average. Good. Okay, so he can do that as well, I suppose. You are organizing levies, which is very good. And at arms maintenance... Increased military presence, that's good. You are poor at your job. Can I replace you? How... Ah, there. Appoint a new spy master. My goodness. Can't I just move this at least? I can't even move that. Oh, come on, Crusader Kings. Let me move stuff. Right. So we have one bin. Who is, I think, our steward and champion... Nyanupe, who is our guest. And we could recruit her to our court. She's good at intrigue. So let's recruit her to the court. She has 50 opinion of us. She's a visitor. That's so cool. So now she's part of our court. And now we can assign her to do that. And we will fire our old counselor and replace her with this lady who's really good. And what can you do? 
Hostile scheme resistance. Secret discovered. We'll do this. Disrupt schemes. You are good. We don't need to replace you. You're fine. You're all fine doing what you're doing. God. So, we have started doing some things. Few champions. Okay, what the hell are champions? We have four out of five champions. Allow Kassa to be a champion, yeah. Okay, we don't have enough... Uh, ...vassals here. ...to be our champion, so we need to find someone else to be our champion. I suppose. Um, create a men at arms regiment. We can't do anything about this. We can declare nine wars. Are you joking? We do anything here right now? Ooh, with prestige, we can get ourselves some more troops. And let's see. Do we get any information on these? What they do, what they're good at? Ah, there we go. So pikemen counters these types, light cavalry, heavy cavalry. They get toughness in most terrains, such as hills, but we are mostly surrounded by mountains, mountains, jungle, jungle, mountains. Okay, so these would be good. Light horsemen are bad at wetlands, mountains, mountains, drylands, plains. You get a tiger, forest, and hills. Is there anything good in jungles? Oh, yeah, light footmen. But probably our best option would be the Guinean uplanders, though they are not even good in jungle. So, since we want to go south first toward a jungle tile, I think we're going to create ourselves a jungle retinue. We are getting 0 0.9 prestige per month, and these cost us 0 0.3 and cost us 100 to hire them. Let us create these, and they will slowly reinforce. So these are retinues, basically. And we are working towards high quality 366 soldiers. Mercenaries, raise all as raiders. Okay, so we can raise our troops immediately as raiders. Or we can raise them as armies. Rally point and tumble. So if our troops get scattered, I think they rally there. All right. Okay, this is the issue thing. My god, that's not sexy. Sexy. Okay, this is how we turn this on and off. Let's check out the realm. Sparrow tribes. Mass limited tribal authority. Characters can be imprisoned. Costs us a lot of prestige though, so we're probably not going to do that. Confederate partition. All children inherit equally. Primogenitor. I don't think we can pass that yet. Not high crown authority. Not the primogenitor invention, so we could go all children inherit equally. No, we can't change anything here. We are pretty much locked in. Oh, now. All right. Uh, gender law. Female only. Definitely not. Can't do that. Male only. Male preference. Can't change anything here either. Um, but this is where we would do it. In the realm tab. God, this is also new. Right. Military looked at this. There's nothing much interesting here left let us search for a court physician search for physician will be unavailable for 12 months if we do that and we would like to know if there is a new court physician that we can go oh pilgrimage oh invite champions uh let us send the herald at least three able-bodied men with 12 or more prowess will arrive at guests at our court. That's good. We'll do that. And we will go on a pilgrimage. 
and I want to know if that's possible. Uh, longer journeys are more expensive. I don't think we can prepare for any journey financially. Tuniani? We can't afford to go anywhere. Okay, we can't we can't afford to go anywhere. <laughs> we don't have the money yet. Um ba -ba -ba -bum. our court. Okay, right, we don't have a court physician. Nope. My champions right now. We don't have prisoners. Our courtiers. We don't have any visitors anymore. Because we invited that one we had to stay. Is there anyone who doesn't have a job but exists here? Jebe. Um, dismiss her. She doesn't like us very much, I think. I don't see her anymore because... All right, let's uh, get some more marriages going for us, I think. And we want to sort by age. Ah. Can I still save filters and load them? Look like it. My god, look at all these windows here. I think I need to turn down the, the scaling a little bit. Um... Jesus. All right. So what do we get? A potential alliance here with the chiefdom of Yene, um, which I would totally love to look at, but everything is kind of in the way. That's a little bit far away. And oh, hello. What does that mean? Are you part of that? I don't know what that line means, but it, it means something, I'm sure. Okay, so this is how we know we get something positive out of it. Okay, so there's only this one which would give us a potential alliance. Which we're going to take. Uh, so we send this proposal. That's not him. I want to go to myself. Let's unpause real quick and see what happens. I'm sure things are going to start to happen. Can I still use... No. Okay. We have formed an alliance with him. Pretty much automatically. Alright. So we have two new spouses. Let's find another one good and not a sinner out of her ears sadistic arrogant forgiving no craven ambitious callous vicious compassionate impatient i don't think she's a sinner and she kind of likes us she gets 600 prestige for marrying us Okay. Court physician. The world is full of dangers, and apparently this man here is experienced. Both of them fail to impress me, however, because, well, to accept this proposal, no immediate effects. What happened? We are no longer married or betrothed. But why? Why this? Does not say. Let's go by rank. This is by rank. <laughs> we go by age again. And we do this again. And see if he breaks it off immediately once more. Okay, so... How do we figure out how many troops he has? 355. The military strength is inferior to ours because we have these extra guys, which 
I think are still reinforcing. Oh no. These buttons are so on the side here that every time I want to click on them. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is going to drive me nuts. Um. Okay. So. Their military strength is similar to ours. Similar. They are inferior. So. The objective would be this. We have one ally. And. Cost us 50 piety. Is this piety? Yeah, I assume. Is it this? No, this is renown. So let's start the war. We do have an ally. Okay, we raise all armies. Which we have now done. And they kind of pop out of the ground there. How do I know how many troops these are? And how do I call in my ally? Um, okay, I don't think our troops are immediately ready. And I... New champions are there, so let's get our new champions. Let's recruit him to the court for five gold. And he will be our champion, which is good. That's taken care of. Um, all right, so we have our troops now, which we can move through our baronies, which makes for a little bit more interesting gameplay. But are these all? size to two okay so instead of recruiting an entirely new one do that okay so how do i you can call in your ally so how do i do that what what button is this is it this i want to know where this shortcut goes Right, I mean, we have called them to war now. And we are moving our troops north here. And uh, he is moving his troops north as well. Which I don't fully understand. So what happens if we go here now? Do we take this or... How does that work? Will we also get an idea of where he's moving to? Looks like he might be going for our ally rather than us. Or he's trying to walk around us to get to our lands. I think that's really it. But our siege will have progressed further. What are you doing? Oh, well, these are raiders. Okay. So we lost sight of him because he went out of our sphere of influence. And he's coming for our own holdings. And there's our ally coming in. Can I still control my allies in war? We select our army. Can I tell that of new army sieging reorganize merge armies? I do not see an option.
to bring our allies in line with our goals. He has arrived at our court as guest. How much do you cost, my man? Five gold, because you're quite good. Military prowess. So let's check our champions again, which I think was here. Um, there. And now we forbid this guy from being a champion and we allow that guy to be one right so i think we just finished the siege here and we took his daughter and heir as someone and i th think our ally is coming with us Is he? Yeah, it looks like there's two armies moving now. Okay, so he has abandoned his siege and I assume that he's trying to go north to start something. Oh, we are at 100%. Why? 50% from war... Oh, okay. 100% from getting this and 50% from the prisoners. There's some battle going on over there. So we can enforce our demands. That is cool. That is cool. Captured air plus 50%. That's really good. That's amazing. Or score from occupied holdings because we got all of them. Yeah, that's great. So we gain 75 fame and our allies get 75 from contribution. That is also cool. So we can enforce the demands. Yes, I am a much greater foe than you ever imagined. So he surrenders. Is this mine now? This is mine now. Okay, then. So we have won our first war. We didn't even need our ally, really. It was just very fortunate that uh, they couldn't cross through here and directly go anywhere. Because they had to walk around my armies. Can I stand them down or do I keep them up? How does this work? Can I declare war with raised levies? No. So we will disband all. And our armies are no longer gathering. But we also increased our potential strength by quite a bit. That's really cool. Let's see. Low county control in Olno. What does that mean? Your, con uh, your control of the German area is low, reducing the taxes and levies that you receive from it. You can send your marshal there to increase your control over it. That sounds good. Um, domain? No. Fort? Uh, marshal? No. Council. I think they want me to press these buttons, but I'm not going to remember those anytime soon. Oh, 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 look at all that. So, uh, four you uh, military man you increase control in the count i hope i didn't send him to the barony no he's for the whole county right we could go on a pilgrimage or we could search for a physician um we now have a little bit of money again so let's search for a physician or can't we just do the good old thing of um Oh, can't I just look for people in the world? Where's the searchy? There's the searchy. Find a character. All right. So relationship all. Diplomatic range inside. Ruler, not a ruler. Adult, adult gender. Male, I assume. Marital status doesn't matter. Imprisonment free. Hooks doesn't matter. Religion, Siguism, ideally Mel's dynasty, doesn't matter. So now we search by this. 
And he will not invite... Okay, who is likely to accept? He's my champion anyway. So I cannot filter this for will I accept invitation? Ugh. But I mean we can... Base reluctance 50. So I suppose anything that's not at least 50 is definitely not going to come. And these guys are already in court basically. Uh Yeah, pretty much all. I don't see any better options for this. Okay, this is uh, not as good as it could be. Let's unpause a little bit further. See what happens. This champion has arrived. Another champion. Oh, he's really good. Uh, recruit to court. And... We will... Place some of the lower ones. This guy. That guy. What exactly do champions do? Okay, minting new coinage. It is my right and responsibility to determine what coinage is to be used throughout all of Sunder. The choices I make will determine how the coinage and by extension my realm is seen throughout the world. So we could debase the coinage, which would give us 50 gold. And new silver coins minted for five years, but we have a chance of 36% to, to spend 150 of our thing. But we want the prestige currently. So we will mint the coins and print it with our own visage and not get much more out of it. And we are going to go on pilgrimage now. I do not hold my wife as close to the heart. And the more I spend a time, the more I start to understand why that is. Everything she does gets on my nerves. So we don't have a great relationship. So best time to go on a journey. Uh, none of which we can afford. Uh, yeah. Nope, <laughs> can't afford it. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. Oh, we could hold a feast. But I don't think we really need it. We don't have any vassals to speak of yet. So we're fabricating a claim down here and it's soon done. Which should give us... Okay, it was cost us 72 gold. That's a whole lot. Can't really afford it. So let's bring home our... Haha, I remembered the button. Let's bring him home. Give us some monthly piety. And... We will just attack this guy. I assume we are capable of doing that. How many troops do you have? 315. I assume we can just conquer the county again for some piety. And he is inferior to us. See, I don't like that. I don't like that we can just declare this, but that might be a uh, thing because we are... We are a tribe or something, that's possible. So let's get this piece here. Uh, we should be fine doing it. And we will raise our troops, which is F... No, F3. Because F2 opens over here, which is a little bit confusing, I think. So let's raise all armies. Which takes a moment, which I think is pretty cool. This army is pretty much raised now. What?
Okay, so he has officially accepted that there's someone who has a claim on something we have on Kono, which is this. You are a, a fool. Oh, no, no, no. Where are you going? Okay, let's do battle. Wait. Wait, so we only have one commander anymore? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So this seems to be different. So now we have one commander who leads the thing. But there are also champions which come along with the army and fight in the army. Okay, I see. So what do they give? Martial skill, jungle stalker, mi oh, military engineer. Oh, yes. There are still siege men. Siege masters. Okay, this task can go away. We have some recruitment. Some new guests at court. Champion has arrived. Alright, so we are fighting him here now. Let's see how this works. Um, so we have our troops here. Attack aside, defend aside. This is relative strength. And what is this? Advantage is six in enemy's favor. All right. Now it's eight in their favor. Ten in their favor again. Thirteen in their favor, but we're still winning. So favor enemy's damage is increased by 16. So it does matter. It just doesn't seem to matter enough. I like the animations. I don't like that they are fleeing over there. How far will you flee? Well, we do have our siege guy here, so I assume that we will be done with winning this siege before he gets to return again. And while we're just attacking one county... Oh, look, we get battle... Oh, hello, a battle report! A new one! So it was in the jungle. So that's good. Um, defender advantage plus six, that's general, okay. We have gotten 36 fame from this battle. Uh, we have lost 73 soldiers when he has left 112. Oh, de oh details! De details! Hello! Oh, yes. Kills. So... Oh, we, we have done the control thing. I didn't realize this game was still running. So we have... Our champions have killed 63 men between them. Our levies have killed eight... Okay, so 400 men have managed to kill 34, while five have killed... What? They lost one champion? Okay. That's crazy. All right, and our light footmen have done really well as well. Yeah, I want the auto expand. That's cool. Main phase, pursuit... Champions, this man died. This man was wounded in this battle. That's so cool. I like all these little details. That makes me happy. And we can go to the location too. And we can escape this. And we have done this battle. We have won 30% war score and occupied all the holdings. So we will enforce our demands. And so be it. We get this stuff now. And we will again stand down our troops. And we also don't have much of control here. As, as, it, as it's signified by this. But we are quite improving our strength. That's really important as well. We have 50 gold. Now we could go on a pilgrimage. And we can create the Duchy of Kono because we hold enough of it to create it now. But we don't have money. <laughs> Not enough anyway. It gives us 300 prestige, so that's really good. But it costs a lot of money. 
I wish it would only show if we can actually afford it. Orlu seems to have been having a difficult time at our latest feast. She sneaked out early and was not... Isn't that snuck? No. Uh, seen for the entire rest of the evening. So what can we do? Orlu keeps the trait impatient. Are you impatient? Monthly prestige plus 20%. That's not bad. Hostile scheme count plus 15%. Okay, so if you're impatient, the enemy has an easier time of taking you out. That makes sense. Uh, so we gain 30... Oh, stress is no longer like a modifier, but a, a value. So we could replace it for gluttonous or shy. I'm assuming shy is a little bit better than impatient. So let's go for shy. Personal scheme power, hostile scheme resistance. Yeah, that's good. 15%, that's okay. Oh, hello. Oh, look at there. You can see where they are on the map. Let's find you a spouse. Someone who's going to go matrilineal with us. Um, d How do I know inheritable traits? This trait is congenital. So this is inheritable. He's a bleeder, which is a little blood fountain, which I really enjoy. Um... He's delicate. He's hale. I do not know what hale means. Labo is fit and sound of body. Of course I don't know what hale means. <laughs> so he would be quite a bit older. But he would be a good choice. Given that he's hale. He's stubborn, lazy and shy. So they would kind of be shy together. That's kind of cute. Oh, he's intelligent. Hello. That's better. Um, but he's also older. The hail guy has good health. So let's keep the hail guy in mind because intelligent is cool, but hail I think is better. Okay, so there are a few more with Hale, but he's the youngest. So let's pick him. He will go for a matrilineal marriage. Chance of children, none. I do hope that's because she's a child. So we'll try that. Greetings. I have accepted your proposal. Good stuff for us. With these three titles and we can have four holdings. How strong are you, my friend? The county. They are inferior to ours. But they do have more light footmen than us. I think I want to secure these counties first. I feel that's uh, going to be quite the boost and boon. Okay, I, I really feel like they designed this interface so you use the you use the buttons on the keyboard rather than click on things. We are established now and no longer obscure. And we have become the new culture head of the male culture. Hello, so that means we can select something here now. Barracks. Unlocks all tribal era military buildings. Tribal era fortification. Onaga men at arms. Bolted armor. Banus. Levy enforcement rate plus 15%. Yeah, we will stick with barracks. It sounds okay. And I think uh, this is a good, decent ending for our first episode. We have taken over two counties, which was way too easy for my liking. I am not a fan 
when a game just allows you to do hey let's have a war i want to conquer you and there seems to be no real repercussions i hope that it's a tribal thing right now and we are soon to be expecting a new point that we can spend i assume we'll have to see about that but yeah we'll keep it short <laughs> right now and uh, i thank you for watching and See you around hopefully in the next one. Bye-bye.